Yo, what is good? Three anime one reviews starting with One Piece this week. Not really the most eventful after the big showcase of the newest form of the Pastafista, but more focused on the crew and where they're going to be later on if anything pops off. Not only did they showcase what group of people can actually leave, but we know for a fact that Zoro probably won't be going nowhere. But the Pacifista, not only having the beams and using the shield, it seems to not have any real loyalty to the government outside of the jurisdiction of Vegapunk telling them what to do. Unlike the Seraphim, who Vegapunk probably didn't have as much control and say on what they're going to do. So I really like what's going on in One Piece, but as you guys know, something crazy is always about to pop off with Zoro. That being said, it reincarnated, jobless. I was expecting a lot of fighting or traveling during the desert, but I do have a little AMV video for y'all planned, so please do look forward to that. This episode really gave us Rudy leaving his family and his about to have a kid wife alone but still showing us the fierce and harsh world out there that she's worried about him being in but thanks to his eye he can see so many things ahead of time even the small things in life so it's a wonder how bored he gets of it when it comes down to his older life overall i really recommend watching this show if you have the heart for it <clears throat> i know a lot of people hate on this character but I think there's a lot of potential in the story and everybody else involved, not just Rudy as a whole. And last but not least, my favorite weird little anime that people are hating on because the season is low-key. Not the greatest, thanks to the expositions, but you got to think of how much potential growth we're getting for every character now that we're looking at which side we want to choose to be on. Will we help the goddess? Will we side with the demons? It looks like we're taking our stand very clearly, but on both sides, we see that the heroes are absolutely nothing when it comes to the demons. Not only does the kid who can't die because he's immortal get destroyed, but our new armored up and trained out of her mind hero gets completely dominated as well. And there's an anime video out already. I hope y'all are supporting that. But the one thing that I'm curious about is if she finds out just who this hero is. And she should have an idea, thanks to the armor, that he's from the same world. I can't wait. I hope y'all have an awesome one. Thank you so much for the support. Let's keep getting those likes and subs. Share the video. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.